Hello everyone and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Uh, in the last episode we made it through the trial, or the first, or the second, second day of the trial. And uh, got some good information. And then we got a little bit of a backstory between uh, Larry, Phoenix, and Edgeworth. And now I believe we are going to the detention center. Actually, I don't think we were given a direction. We'll just go here and see what happens. Uh, I, I listened back to the last two episodes and I think my voice was a little quiet, so I, tur I turned it up just a little bit. So hopefully this is, hopefully this is better. <sighs> you look grim as always. Hmm. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the class trial. <laughs> Last trial, what do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In third grade? Lunch money? No, alright. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you'd do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So, it's simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe, yeah, but... I think you changed too much, Edward. Ed Edward? <laughs> Edgeworth? Perhaps. Alright. Why prosecute? Hey, Edgeworth, why did you become a prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes, the man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was... Yanni Yogi. He had to be the shooter any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. That defense attorney got him off the hook. That would be Robert Hammond. On that day 15 years ago, the three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we suffered oxygen, all, to su all suffered oxygen deprivation. And we lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yoki's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yoki had not had been not of sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Yoki was released due to lack of evidence. Innocent. And that's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. Alright, tell me about Von Karma. What is this guy? What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. So he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He is a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life, he is obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent, ever. But, but that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job, to find the suspect guilty, perfectly. In any case, it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Um, Edgeworth? If what you're saying is true, you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. <laughs> He's right! Now's no time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. This is a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding. That's it? Uh, okay. Well, I guess maybe show him things? Look, I'm a lawyer! Yeah, not sure I can help you with that. Yep. What are you showing me this picture for? Um, uh, no reason. You know, I was impressed by your deduction in the trial today. Granted, you were at the end of your rope, but still. Nick, he noticed. <laughs> K. 
Okay. Yeah, didn't have high hopes for that. The parrot. Tell me about the parrot. It was that case that changed my life. And tomorrow, on December 28th, its Statue of Limitations run out, runs out. Tomorrow? Could that be a coincidence? But even if the case is finally closed on paper, it will never be erased from my memory. Never. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. N Nick, no! Th that's a photo of his father. Don't show him that. You're right. Now probably isn't a good time to dredge up those memories. I didn't even pay attention to what it was. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. Hmm. Yeah, alright, let's not do that. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I didn't examine my office. Uh, I'm assuming nothing. Okay, moving on. Gord Lake entrance, I guess? Something's going on. Hey, pal. Long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. I mean, it looks alright. Uh, sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we know, now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch me a criminal, pal. Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, one other thing. Eek. No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was camping? The woods are off limits to camping and apparently the park ranger found out. Ah, uh, he got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess Lotta's in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Okay, let's uh, examine all this for no reason. Feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. I can't remember if that's what he said before or not. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, oops. Red Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on weekends. But no waterfall. How many picnickers, picnickers come here for spiritual tra training, Maya? Yeah, because there's no waterfall. Uh, okay. Not examine. Uh, to the beach. And into the boat shop, I guess. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? Looks like the hot dog stand is closed, too. I guess Larry's too busy worrying about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. Yeah, let's go with that. Guess Larry has today off. He was pretty happy about saving Mr. Edgeworth. True, we all went big. Hmm. This lake sure likes to cause problems, doesn't it? Huh? I mean, everything that happened here turned out to be a lie. Gordy was a lie, and the charges against Mr. Mr. Edgeworth were all lies. I guess you're right. I mean, I'm glad the charges were all lies, but still. I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. Okay. Trash. Anything in there? Trash can with no trash. At least the place. Yeah. Okay. I've done that before. Benches. Clue underneath the bench. No one's going to sit here on a cold day like today. Well, unless they were eating a samurai dog. How would that change the temperature, I wonder? You seem troubled, Nick. N no. Who? Me? Uh, alright. I think that's everything. I'm trying to, to remember to, to examine everything, because I, I feel like that's helped. I want to go inside. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Ahem. No, that clearing of the throat anywhere. Oh! <laughs> Hello, who might, what you, you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? 
Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Mr. Grossberg, this is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. Mm, er, that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Oh, now you want to help. Thanks. Bye. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? DL6 incident. It's all connected. But rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. The caretaker must have run for the hills, huh? Yeah, it looks like. He didn't seem like a bad person. That's why I'm not entirely convinced he's the murderer. But I do think he's covering for the murderer, if nothing else. Nick, the forest, there's someone in there. You're right, there's a few policemen in there. They must be looking for the caretaker. Good luck. I got so excited when she's like, ah, there's someone in there. There's some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in a boat from this dock. Apparently the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's space for- yeah, we did that already. Okay, um... Man, I don't- I don't see anything. Can I go inside the boat rental? Oh, I can go inside the shack. Okay, good enough. Nobody's home. Hello, hello, Squawk! Hey, it's Polly. I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Hello, hello, Squawk! I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello, hello! Okay. Let's examine and get some clues. We're gonna figure this out. It doesn't look like he used this kitchen much. You're right. I guess the whole pasta restaurant thing was a lie. What, you thought he was telling the truth? Huh, we're saving the bird for last. Hmm, everything's cold. Looks like he didn't turn his heater on. I guess he hasn't been back here since the trial. Okay. Fishing pole? That fishing pole looks expensive. Maybe you should bring it to Detective Gumshoe. Don't you think the caretaker would mind? Well, we can just leave him a metal detector in exchange. Uh, maybe we'd better not. <laughs> Sounds like crazy video game trading mission. Say, Nick, don't people usually put pictures of fish up on the wall to boast about them? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You mean the pictures of the, of the fish they caught, right? Right, but don't all the fish on the wall here look real, really puny to you? Well, you know what they say. You should have seen the one that got away. Except the one that got away from us was the caretaker, and we did see him. Why do I feel like we're having two different conversations here? <laughs> because we are. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? 1228 Squawk! Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Ah, But hey. He keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. That's a sh no! Okay, Nick, let's see what's in there. I want to see what's inside. I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter! A letter? Aw, boring. Hmm, there's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edge Edgeworth? N -n Nick, why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Ah, here we go. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says, this is your last chance. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here in perfect detail. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. 
When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. So, did Edgeworth, like, get that guy, like, thrown in jail or something? Or, like, maybe a family member was put in jail? There's nothing left in the safe. I wonder why the caretaker didn't take the letter with him. He left in a hurry, right? I don't think he even came back here after the trial. Ah! W what's wrong? Huh? Oh, n never mind. What? Tell me. Just, when I saw the TV, I remembered. They're showing a Pink Princess special this week. Oh. See, that's why I didn't want to tell you. Alright, so we've looked at everything except our friend the parrot. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyway. I'm sure they'll do something. Well, okay. Sorry, Polly. He says I can't take you. Great, now the bird's going to hate me. Oh, that's it. Okay. So that's everything there. I'm hoping another scene pops up as we go, because I have no idea where to go next. Nothing. Okay, back to the office. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. Uh, what to do? What do you think we should do now, Maya? You would know best, Nick. Just do what you do. That should work. Well, I had any good ideas? This is all tied to the DL6 incident. We better find out as much as we can about that murder before tomorrow. Something that happened back then it has a hold on Edgeworth that it won't let go. Oh my god, is that Caretaker? Is that the guy who, uh... No, that wouldn't make sense. I was like, is that Yanni Yogi or whatever his name is? I, no, I, I feel like that doesn't make sense, but that's kind of, kind of where my brain is going. Because they said that like he just disappeared and no one knows what happened to him. I don't know why he would want. Well, because Ed, would Edgeworth have testified against him? Like, and why would he want revenge on Hammond? Because Hammond was the defense attorney. Hmm. Uh, oh, well, we did get... I got evidence, maybe. Let's go see Grossberg. He's out again. Ah, crap. When does he work, anyway? Now, now, don't be harsh. Guess we'll have to come back later. Ah! Take a look around. Pretty sure we've seen all this stuff before, but just in case. Also, give me... I'm, I'm trying to, like, think this out. Like, why would he... I could see him wanting revenge on... Edgeworth? Because I'm assuming Edgeworth, as a kid, testified against him. But I believe... But Hammond was the defense attorney, so I don't know why, what kind of revenge he would want against Hammond. Unless screwing over Edgeworth, like, hurts someone else, like a second person we're not aware of yet. That could be. Um, I think we're going to end the episode here. And we'll try to figure out where we're going in the next one. Sorry, this one is a little bit, a uh, little bit shorter, but we'll uh, we'll plan this out, 
figure out our next move and then uh in the next episode we'll get we'll get going again so i i like I, this this trial just like keeps getting better and better i feel like I'm, I'm like gushing about it but i just there's so many cool little twists and turns in it i love it uh as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time